Today, we're diving into some of the best dev tools for developers in 2025 that will seriously level up your productivity. We'll be exploring tools like Markdown, Elemo Fire, Yak API Client, Vitus, Midget Camera, and more, each offering unique solutions to common development challenges. Whether you're working with APIs, databases, or mobile apps, these tools have something for everyone. So, let's get started. Welcome back to Manu AGI Tutorials. Here, we explore the exciting world of AI, latest AI tools for you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, so you don't miss out on the latest AI insights. So let's start today's video. Project number one, Midget Popups. Popups presentation made simple. Midget Popups is a versatile library created to streamline the implementation of various presentation elements like popups, popovers, sheets, alerts, toasts, and banners in Swift UI applications. The library stands out due to its focus on simplifying the development process while offering extensive customization options. Midget Popups allows developers to create fully customized pop-up views with an ease of use, enhancing code clarity by consolidating key actions into a single line of code. One of the unique aspects of Midget Popups is its adaptability and flexibility. The framework supports three different positions for displaying pop-ups, at the top, in the center, or at the bottom of the screen. This positioning flexibility makes it suitable for creating common UI elements such as pop-ups, popovers, and alerts. Furthermore, the library facilitates the display of multiple pop-ups simultaneously. This feature is particularly useful for applications needing to present multiple notifications or require users to interact with several prompts such as terms and conditions, before logging in. Inactive pop-ups are stacked to maintain a visually appealing interface. Midget pop-ups is engineered to integrate seamlessly with existing projects, allowing developers to use native sheets and alerts alongside the framework. Additional features include the ability to automatically dismiss pop-ups after a specified time, adjust pop-up height based on content, and use drag gestures for resizing. The library supports all Apple platforms, including iOS, macOS, tvOS, watchOS, and visionOS, and is compatible with Swift 6. Project number 2, Postgres.js, the fastest full-featured PostgreSQL client for Node.js, Dino, Bun, and Cloudflare. Postgres.js is a full-featured PostgreSQL client designed for speed and efficiency in Node.js, Dino, Bun, and Cloudflare environments. Its unique value proposition lies in its innovative use of ES6 tagged template strings at its core, which not only simplifies the API surface but also enforces safe query generation. This approach allows developers to write dynamic queries without risking SQL injection, as the library processes query parameters before interpolation, automatically handling escaping and casting. One of the standout features of Postgres.js is its dynamic query support which enables flexible and powerful query building. Developers can dynamically select columns, construct dynamic inserts and updates, and create value lists for where IN clauses, all while maintaining security and readability. The library also provides advanced query methods such as cursors for throttling row returns, instant iteration with dot for each, and the ability to describe queries to get information about the query process including the final generated query string. Furthermore, Postgres.js offers robust support for transactions, allowing developers to ensure data consistency and integrity. It also provides extensive data transformation capabilities, with built-in functions for converting between camel case, pascal case, and kebab case, as well as the ability to define custom transformation functions. The library's connection management is another key differentiator, with lazy connection creation, connection pooling, and automatic prepared statement creation, all designed to optimize performance and resource utilization. Project number three, camera, camera made simple. Midget camera is designed to simplify the integration of camera functionality into Swift UI projects, significantly reducing implementation time and effort. What makes Midget camera unique is its focus on simplicity and ease of use, achieved through a modern, minimalistic UI and a thoughtfully designed public API enabling common use cases to be solved with just a few lines of code. The library automatically manages the entire camera workflow, from requesting camera permissions to displaying captured media. Midget Camera stands out by providing three integrated screens, an error screen, a captured media screen, and the camera screen, streamlining the handling of camera states. It supports a wide array of features including image and video capture, with or without sound, camera position changes, manual zoom and focus, changeable frame rates and camera resolutions, 
camera filters, torch and flash controls, and other camera settings like exposure duration, target bias, ISO, and HDR mode. The library also includes gesture support and block screen orientation changes. Midget Camera is engineered for limitless creativity, allowing customization of each of its three screens. Additional features include advanced camera controls, thoroughly designed animations, and support for Swift 6. To learn how to integrate your project with Midget Camera, you can visit the framework's documentation page. The project is available under the Apache 2.0 license. Project number 4 Vitus, Horizontally Scaling MySQL Database Clusters. Vitus is a database clustering system designed for horizontal scaling of MySQL, making it a unique solution for applications requiring high availability and scalability. What makes Vitus stand out is its ability to achieve unlimited scaling through generalized sharding while allowing application code and database queries to remain agnostic to the distribution of data across multiple database servers. This means that developers don't need to rewrite their applications to take advantage of Vitus's scaling capabilities. One of the key benefits of Vitus is its ability to split and merge shards as your data needs grow, with an atomic cutover step that takes only a few seconds. This allows you to scale your database infrastructure without significant downtime or disruption to your applications. Vitus was initially developed at YouTube, where it grew to encompass tens of thousands of MySQL nodes, proving its ability to handle massive scale. It has since been adopted by other large companies like Slack and Square. Vitus is also a cloud-native system, making it well-suited for modern, containerized environments. It is designed to be easy to deploy and manage in the cloud, and it integrates well with other cloud-native technologies like Kubernetes. Vitus provides a comprehensive set of features for managing MySQL clusters, including automatic failover, backup and restore, and online schema changes. The source files for Vitus are distributed under the Apache version 2.0 license. Project number 5 Yak API Client, the intuitive desktop tool for seamless API interactions. Yak API Client is a desktop application designed to streamline the interaction with various types of APIs, including REST, GraphQL, Server Sent Events, SSE, WebSocket, and gRPC. What makes Yak unique is its intuitive interface and comprehensive support for multiple API protocols, all within a single desktop client. This eliminates the need for separate tools, simplifying the development and testing process for APIs. Yak distinguishes itself by offering a range of features aimed at enhancing productivity and collaboration. It allows users to import data from popular tools like Postman, Insomnia, OpenAPI, and Swagger making it easy to transition existing projects. The client supports automatic authorization with protocols like OAuth 2.0 and JWT, and enables users to chain multiple requests together, dynamically referencing values between them. Response bodies can be filtered using JSONPath or XPath queries. Furthermore, Yak provides tools for organization and customization. Users can organize requests into workspaces and nested folders, use environment variables to switch between development and production environments, and send dynamic values using template tags. The ability to mirror workspace data to a directory for integration with Git or Dropbox promotes version control and collaboration. Yak's plugin architecture allows users to create custom extensions for authentication and template tags, further tailoring the tool to their specific needs. Project number 6 Alamo Fire, simplifying HTTP networking in Swift. Alamo Fire is a Swift-based HTTP networking library designed to streamline how developers handle network requests in their applications. What makes Alamo Fire unique is its elegant syntax combined with a comprehensive set of features, making complex networking tasks simpler and faster. With Alamo Fire, tasks that would typically require many lines of code can be accomplished with just a few thanks to its intuitive and expressive design. Alamo Fire stands out due to its focus on developer experience and modern Swift features. It offers shunnable request and response methods, making code more readable and maintainable. Alamo Fire supports Swift concurrency, going back to iOS 13, macOS 10.15, tvOS 13, and watchOS 6, along with Combine, enabling developers to use the latest tools for asynchronous programming. The library simplifies parameter encoding for URLs and JSON, and supports file, data, stream, and multi-part form data uploads, as well as file downloads using requests or resume data. Furthermore, Alamo Fire provides robust features for authentication, response validation, and security. It handles authentication with URL credential, offers HTTP response validation, 
includes upload and download progress closures, and provides curl command output for debugging. Alamo Fire also allows for dynamic request adaptation and retries, and supports TLS certificate and public key pinning for enhanced security. Project number 7, Mark It Down, the versatile tool for converting files to Markdown. Mark It Down is a Python-based utility designed to convert various file types into Markdown, making it ideal for indexing and text analysis. What makes Mark It Down unique is its broad support for different file formats, including PDFs, PowerPoint, Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, images, audio files, HTML, text-based formats like CSV, JSON, and XML, and even zip files. This eliminates the need for multiple conversion tools, streamlining the process of transforming diverse documents into a unified Markdown format. Markdown distinguishes itself by offering flexibility in usage, supporting both command line and Python API interfaces. The command line interface allows for quick conversions with simple commands, while the Python API enables integration into larger workflows and custom scripts. Markdown supports third-party plugins, further extending its capabilities. To find available plugins, you can search GitHub for the hashtag, hashtag Markdown plugin. Additionally, Markdown can leverage cloud-based services like Azure Document Intelligence and large language models to enhance its conversion process. By integrating with Azure Document Intelligence, Markdown can improve the accuracy of document conversions. Furthermore, it can utilize large language models, LLMs, to generate descriptive content from images, offering a more comprehensive conversion. Markdown is open for community contributions, encouraging users to submit issues, review pull requests, and even develop and share their own plugins. And that wraps up our look at these incredible dev tools. I hope you found something new and useful to add to your workflow. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more content like this. Let me know in the comments which tool you're most excited to try. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.